Nothing's ever been stolen until now. We are leaving Florida, leaving TTO. Because I have a feeling she's going to eat lots of peaches. I love peaches. Lots of room in here. <laughs> lots of room. This will be a nice harvest house to stay at. We can tell already. And peach coffee. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't joke. Don't joke. Guess where we're going. How are we doing this? Oh, I'm getting It's awesome. Awesome. We're eating again. Don't judge. On the road into the sky. Never let adventures pass you by. Be free and follow your crazy dreams. We live in our vision in the RV. plus years and nothing's ever been stolen until now. So we take off, we leave our hose attached, we have a sign on the pedestal that Thousand Trails gives you to tell everybody it's a taken site. A few people um, pulled in and tried to take the site while we were gone. Our neighbors walked over and told them that site's already taken and pointed it out to them that there's a, a sign on the pedestal and there's their water hose and all that. They got so mad that they took our picnic table uh, covers. covers. So before we left, I told Michelle, I'll just put one one bench on because, you know, it's just going to be us sitting there anyway. And if somebody comes over, we'll put the other one on. On the same street, there they are. The cover and one bench cover. <laughs> the same RV that, that our neighbors told us that, that did it. But, wow. No, we're not going to go confront them. It's not that big of a deal. It's just the principle of the whole thing. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yes steal something because you're mad because it's sight's taken and then and you're then bold enough to put it out put it out on just the same right street <laughs> like five sites down from us. it's kind of funny actually it's just the whole the whole uh, principle of it that somebody just took it's something that wasn't theirs it's just hard to believe somebody would do that yeah anyway just thought we'd share that with you <laughs> We ain't messing around today. We're going straight for the road. We are leaving Florida, leaving TTO. And where are we going, Michelle? Um, you don't know where we're going. Well, our Back to Iowa. end destination <laughs> is Iowa, but we're going to take probably a couple weeks to get there. Yes, we've got a, a bunch of things planned, a, a bunch of destinations, and we're just going to take our time. We're trying to gather as much content as we can on our way to Iowa so we have something to work on in Iowa well I do anyway but hope you enjoy it to a TA and get fuel tonight, exactly an hour and 11 minutes. And then we're probably gonna either stay at a Walmart or Cracker Barrel. And then tomorrow morning, we've got a very busy day, don't we? Oh my, a couple stops and driving in between. Cordell, Georgia. We uh, went down to a Walmart, got a few things, needed some water, just down the street from the Walmart at a Cracker Barrel. And we're going to stay here tonight. A little later than we expected. We yeah. we thought we'd get here just after 10 and it's uh, after, after 11, 11 now. <laughs> we're going to try to get up early because we got a lot of things to do tomorrow. Somebody's really excited for the first one because there's some goodies at the first place. And it's a harvest host, but we're not going to spend the night there. We're just going to go visit kind of check it out for you guys and see and for us of course too and uh, see what kind of goodies they have and then we're gonna go up to a little mountain town called Helen Georgia it's a German town mm -hmm. we're excited to see that so we'll catch you in the morning good night well good morning we had a good night here at Cracker Barrel we're gonna be going up to Lane Southern Orchards. It's a harvest host and a place that has a lot of peachy stuff. Today her name is Peaches. Mm. 
because I have a feeling she gonna eat lots of peaches. I love peaches. Mm -hmm. One thing that I wish this thing had different was some something different for these windows. Even some of those uh, shades that uh, are magnetic on the outside would be nice, but not too bad. At least we have something. The side windows, they're magnetic. This just goes in here and the visors hold it in. But it's something else that you gotta store away when you don't have much room as it is. Because we bring too much. Lots of room in here, <laughs> lots of room. Too much Eat pie. Eat more pie, <laughs> that'll be no more. This is a nice place. It is. Did not expect uh, expect this. This will be a nice harvest house to stay at. We can tell already. A lot of RVs already here. Huge place. This is probably the biggest, uh, or one of the biggest harvest hosts yeah. that we've been to. Nice flat uh, place for you to park. Is like, where do you start? I know. Bakery? <laughs> Should have known. Gluten free peanut butter cookies. I love this place. You could buy a few slices of the bread. You remember our trip to Destin recently with all those pies? <laughs> This is just about as bad. I didn't even pay attention to how much this... Okay. Pecan pie Wasn't for later. It? Fried peach pie. Yeah. That's now your gluten-free peanut butter cookie. I'm happy. A slice of peach bread. Because why not? And peach cobbler. Small. Small. <laughs> Just peachy. I'm gonna try this gluten free peanut butter cookie. Wait, it's been so long since I had a peanut butter cookie. It's not bad. It's in between the soft and hard. Mm. I'm gonna give this a. Look at all those peaches. I don't know, between a seven and a half mm -hmm. and an eight. Oh, it's not bad, it's pretty good. Just a little too hard, not quite soft as I like them to be. That is a very good peach, a fried peach pie. Is it really? Mm-hmm. And you almost didn't I get almost it. I almost didn't get it. Wow, by the that's look That's a nine, I think that's a nine. Really? Oh, the peach call there, I'll go ahead and let you take a look at it. At least got a little one. She just got a little one, I should say. Might as well try that right now. You might as well. What the heck? I get that coffee. <laughs> That's pretty good peach cobbler. Mm -hmm. But I think I actually like the fried pie better. So when you say pretty good, is that equivalent to a seven or an eight? Mm. Or? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to rate it that good. All right, we're going to finish up eating this, whatever <laughs> we can, and uh, drink our coffee, and then we'll show you around the place here. Cinnamon glazed pecan. I love cinnamon glazed you know, yeah. pecans. Yeah, those, those, those are good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Thank I you. take them all? No. no. <laughs> Go ahead, get one more. Mm, those are a nine. So unfortunately, we can't do the tour, but this is where they would start. They have a wine that they're really known for, and that's this peach one here, Lane, Georgia Sweet Peach Wine. 
So they sell out of that really quick. So we may have to try that. Yep. Share some with some friends. And then um, her favorite, she said, was the re Riesling that they have. So if you want to try that. All their wines look like they're... Well, that one's $14.99 and this one's $14.99, it looks like. Yeah, pretty reasonable but, price. But uh, looks like they're just about out of this one. So better nab that one. <laughs> Now we just got to figure out where we're going to put yeah, everything. Yeah, where are we? It's going to be a little mountain town called Helen, Georgia. It's a cute little uh, German town. If you've never been there before, I think you might like it. If we get there. Oh, we will. <laughs> Shouldn't joke. Don't joke. It's not funny. Don't you take my brisket. Get out of the way. Don't you take my pie. Baby. Do you want sliced or chopped brisket? This place is a lot more crowded than I thought it yeah. was going to be. Hopping Can't in a little town. Wow, the multiple parking places and they're all full. The guy came up and the and lady and said they had a good spot for us right beside this building. Let's go enjoy the German town. Yeah, very cute. This is for Michelle because she has a... German heritage. You do have to put your plate number in, but apparently you have to put your ticket on the dash also. So we will do that. Look, it's Sasquatch. I didn't know Sasquatch was German. What do you think of this place so far? This is so cool. It is. And we're at the end, and the, you know how you can tell? Because there's a Wendy's. <laughs> we're at the end where the Georgia mountain coaster is at. 
You wanna go ride that? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I don't know if we can. Seriously? Maybe. Guess where we're going. Are we doing this? Oh, are we? <laughs> Should we? Should we do the mountain coaster? Okay, so Michelle is running the brakes, which is there. really comfy when you lean back. <laughs> it's awesome. awesome. They need more padding. The fry guy. I'm glad I don't have hemorrhoids. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? Because that bump hurt. Oh, I hear screaming. Why are you breathing so hard? You're, you're against oh, the light. squishing you. <laughs> are we there yet? Okay, Great. now seriously, oh, you gotta run that brake. I don't hear an answer. I think so. Eh, crap. <laughs> So it's coming out of back here. Oh. <laughs> okay, let go. Oh, we get out. <laughs> get out? How are we gonna do that? We're stuck in here. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. I wasn't scared a bit, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's not that bad. I bet you can't guess what we're going to do next. What do we like to do most? Eat. Eat. That's our thing. <laughs> we're going to get Michelle some German food. Is that right, Peaches? That's You're right. She This place is really good. So, we're gonna see what it's all about. You gonna have a schnitzel? I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna have yet. Let's try that schnitzel out. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the worst sampler, and hopefully, it's the best. <laughs> Three types of sausages. Oh, juices from that potato salad I got on me. What did you get? I got that? Wiener Schnitzel. I mean, that's the schnitzels. Bite of the first wiener. Mm. Good. German potato salad. It's really good. I've already had some. Different needs a little salt though, but it's pretty good. We'll eat it and then we'll tell you how it is. So Brian had the worst sampler. It wasn't the worst. <laughs> and I had the schnitzel wiener art. Um, I rated like about an eight and a half, um, mm -hmm. but I really liked the um, German potato salad. It was very good. How was your... And the brats. You know yeah. what? A brat is a brat, really. Yeah. They, they were good. That's, so it's that's... really hard to rate different brats. But right. I don't know. I, they do. I know. They all do taste a little different. But, but I suppose if I was going to rate them... I'd give them an eight. <laughs> yeah, they were good.
These are gluten free. Michelle is gonna try this one. Do you want it a little bit free? Oh, of course. Bye, girl. We're eating again. Don't judge, please. If you Trying, judge, we understand. Trying new things. Yeah, this is a gluten free cheesecake from this place called Hofer's Bakery. Yes. And, uh, oh, what is your, oh, yeah, you have that. Sacher? Sacher Torque. Mine is very moist and like a very light uh, cake. I don't know. What would. I'm going to get your opinion on this. I'm having a hard time judging that. Give me about an eight. Give it an eight? Yeah. I was going to say a seven and a half, so mm. you're right there close. But I like cherry and I can taste that, so. Pretty good. So I would good. give mine. Maybe I would give it an eight. The flavors are really good. Very light. I like it. I was pr I'd say maybe an eight and a half. Well, that was pretty fun. That did was, you enjoy it? it? I did. That's a Good. cute little town. I really liked it. Good. Glad you did, sweetie. Peaches. Oh. Peaches. Peaches for today. Or, or maybe now that we went to the German town, maybe it's schnitzel. No, I'm not schnitzel. You're not? No. Sometimes you're a little schnitzel. I'd like to be called peaches, please. Okay. <laughs> Peaches it is. <laughs> All right, well, our next trip is going to be going up to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Your shadow stretching on the floor while the sun gets low. I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. We push it right on through I know you need it to Because we have been working hard Right from the very start mm, And we get this far But now it's time for us to stay out until it's late We've come a long, long way So we deserve it, mate Call it a day and celebrate to subscribe to our channel click that little bell and hit that thumbs up see you next week Call me.